this is uh, something that I really wanted to ask you about. Uh, it is about the Herdanger Open 2022 and a promise of legacy that is it screams legacy when you are going to talk about how the Danger open especially with uh, a particular super match and of, of course it's going to be a lot of other great uh, super matches there as well like if, for instance uh, the uh, if the famous one uh, Vladislav Krasovskis and Baja Santos they are going to collide <laughs> over there and the last time that happened, it was hellfire. So, oh yeah, yeah. but yeah, uh, a great. specific uh, match uh, that I wanted to uh, talk about uh, with you, since you have great knowledge about both of these af- athletes, and um, I want to almost say that um, while John Brzezink is uh, the overall goat of uh, all time, Ingen is not that far behind. So uh, this uh, is uh, like a legacy match between uh, two uh, of the greatest arm wrestlers of all time. And uh, I just wanted to get your insights of that because uh, these guys, funnily enough, have not pulled each other since like in the 90s, I believe. So long time. How do you think? uh, How do you think uh, how the match is going to go? And uh, how do you see this match? Do you also see that this is a legacy match, or what do you think? You know what? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and and, and say that I do, um, but I don't think it really matters. I, I I think this is the circumstances of this match and the timing of the match are unusual, um, but almost a necessity because of what we're talking about here. You, you, you rightly said a moment ago that, you know, the, the word uh, or the description legend pops up here and there, and there's always an argument around whether certain people are befitting or deserving of that title. I think we can all agree that in the in this instance, both of the arm wrestlers we're talking about here definitely do. There's just no question. Um, everybody knows John know what John's achieved, who John is, what he represents to the sport of arm wrestling. He's the best of us. Engin Terzi is a phenomenal arm wrestler. A man that, when he first came along onto the scene, um, we were talking about a guy that was pulling in the men's 55 kilo class. He won the world title there, right arm, left arm. Then you'd see him in the 60, the 65. The 70, the 75, all the time he's winning, all the time he's running over guys you thought couldn't be run over. He's got wins against the best of the best. An incredible resume. If you were looking at um, what proves a guy, is it the gold medals? Is it what, what it is in my book is if you've got an arm wrestler that is battle tested, as both these men are, over a period of 20 plus years pulling against the very best competition in the world surely that gives you everything you need to know both these men have been there done that and they're on the t-shirt this is the guy you know if you if you're making your short list of all time great arm wrestlers these men are on it and they're on it in bold and capitals Engin Terzi and John Brzezink, it doesn't really necessarily matter that these guys are pulling uh, at the ages they're at now. It's just a spectacle. It's the finest of exhibition matches, you know. I really hope that the guys allow the match to test themselves in different areas. Uh, I'm sure it will. I don't think either man is going there with any kind of venom for the other one at all. This match is is mutual respect. Both guy, both guys know what the other one represents and who the other one is, what they're all about. There's the blueprints been out there for so long on both of these guys, but both, if they can come in good shape, are dangerous. Engin, I think right now is upper ninety kilos, maybe ninety five to ninety seven kilos, but he's had a situation recently where he was badly afflicted by uh, COVID. I don't know what that's done to him, but I know that uh, we've had a couple of uh, interviews recently that Engin's been involved with, 
And he was struggling. He was suffering. His lung capacity was down. Um, prior to that, the word on the street was that Engin was serious. He was really, really powerful. He was training with some of the bigger guys over in Turkey, which is a hotbed of arm wrestling talent, as we all know. And he was troubling them. Engin has a level of respect amongst all the elite arm wrestlers that he can pop up at any given time when the mood takes him and when he's ready and he can cause the best of guys major trouble. So I think John, whilst he's going into this match quite relaxed and one of uh, focused on it like he has for some of his recent outings, I'm sure he's not put as much focus on this, for example, as he did to pull uh, Hajimura at Zalayev. However, he will be well aware of the threat that Engin Terzi represents, particularly to the hand and wrist. Engin is one of the best of all time at targeting your hand and wrist. His command of pronation is incredible. His wrist is solid steel. And John will know he's in an arm wrestling match. I expect that John will look to neutralise Engin. I think he'll try to utilise the hand and wrist of his own and shut Engin's game down early. He is the bigger man, naturally. Uh, and I think he'll try and, and, and get himself to a position of comfort. Uh, if he takes Engin a little bit lightly or maybe backs off the gas a little bit, lets Engin get a bite in the match, we could see something really entertaining. And, and that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that we get to see that 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 real diversity of technique. And I'm sure we will. I think, I think John will try and open the match up a little bit. John has a tendency. One of the reasons people respect John Brzezink so much is because this is an arm wrestler that is brave. This is an arm wrestler that wrestles with technical prowess and courage. He he's an he's a one man walking show because he will showcase the beauty of the sport. He'll showcase arm wrestling for everyone to see. And he's brave enough to do that time and time again. And I expect nothing else in Norway. I'm sure he'll do it again. Yeah. Definitely. That is um, a match that has um Definitely been uh, talked about uh, for a very, very long time, especially mm -hmm. uh, since uh, they, as I said earlier, they have not been polling since the 90s. And to me, that is uh, crazy that I that they have not uh, polled each other since uh, since the, the 90s. It is uh, crazy to me that as they have not been uh, facing each other a lot more. They've so, got a lot in common, though. Um, there's a lot of commonality between John and Engin. One of the biggest factors that they have in common is that both are giant killers. At their own respective environment, Engin would come from the sort of, often would come from the 65 kilo class and we'd see him in the 90s pulling even bigger. We'd see, you know, it, it, it back in the day, I've seen Engin Terzi weighing 65 kilos pulling against Ron Bath, Eric Wuffel, big men. You know, if you meet Eric Wuffel in person, this is a huge individual. I mean, he's a very, very big man. Engin Terzi was pulling him when he was 65 kilos. You know, he would he would hunt monsters. Who does that remind you of? John Brzezink, obviously, native 85, 90 kilo class back in the day, and he progresses through the weight class and seemingly has no ceiling. Seemingly has no ceiling. We would see him, you know, He'd be in the 100 class and he'd be bullying, dominating, bossing the matches. Suddenly he's bigger than that. He's at 110. He's pulling the super heavyweights. It didn't matter. John was unafraid to mix it in any area of the game with anyone. And that's why he cemented his legacy as the best of us, greatest of all time. 